This time around I'd like to talk about shared spoons, in particular S-Bin spoons, shared spoons that we use a lot on our coastline. For instance, our S-Bin, two-tone, most probably one of the most popular shared spoons that the Natal Rock and Surf boys use. We've got brass or copper, doesn't really make a difference, and white metal on the inside. This is a very heavy spoon. It's rounded on the top, and it comes standard with treble hooks. This little spoon has produced more shad than any other spoon that I know of throughout the years that I've been fishing. It's very small, very compact, and it throws brilliantly. The next one is the S flat, in other words, S bend shape as you can see, rounded underneath and flat on top. What this one does is basically wobble and it, because of the round shape that you have on it, this thing actually moves like that, but very, if I could put it this way, the, the movement is more subtle. It is not as sharp or as abrupt or erratic as a V shape. Can you see the V there guys? That's a V shape S flat. This one basically is a lot more erratic in the water as far as the side to side movement goes. It gives off a lot more sparkle so if the water is very very clean this is the spoon that I would like to throw nine times out of ten. Again, it's flat, it's white metal, easy to clean. You can clean it with the back of a knife or even in the sand. Very, very nice spoon, very heavy spoon. So you can throw it a lot further than a conventional Toby spoon, for instance. And I'll show you those later on. But that's a very good spoon if the wind is blowing and you need to get a lot of distance. And it is one of those better spoons for fish like Garrick and Cobb as well. If they are around, but you're still targeting shad, that would be the spoon that I would look at. Next is the S13. It's long, it's thin. Again, s bend shape, just to give that tail movement as it's going through the water. The profile is a lot thinner and longer, so it imitates more your sardines and your mullet and it's a very very rounded shape on it so it actually moves very nicely and uh, in Afrikaans they call it ikhalach where it moves very smoothly through the water and the shad absolutely love it especially if they are very specific on what they're eating the next one is our shad large and again this is more for when there's cob around and the shad are still biting it's a very heavy, big spoon. It's chrome. It's not white metal now. It is chromed. It's a spoon that, if you're fishing over a sandy beach area, if I could put it that way, and there is a chance of a cob, you pull it along the sand, and then as soon as you come over the drop off, the cob will come up and eat it. But the shad also patrol up and down those little sandy little troughs and little gullies. That would be a very good spoon to throw. And as you can see, it is very, very big. Profile gives you a lot more um, shape and contrast in the water. So very good if the water is slightly off color as well. Next, we've got our old trusty Toby spoon, 36 grams, 30 grams, with a single hook. If there's a lot of shade around and you're gonna release them, or you're gonna use them for live bait, Obviously a treble hook is going to do a lot of damage to the mouth and the gill area. This is definitely by far a better option. So putting a single hook on also helps if there's a lot of rock structure around. If there's a rocky ledge that you're throwing over, basically if that was the rocky ledge over here, you pulled your spoon, that single hook's not going to hook into it. And it also makes it very easy to release any shad if there's a lot of small shad in the shoal that you are targeting. This spoon comes in a variety of sizes. I'm just going to show you a couple of different sizes. That's our 40 gram. If the wind is blowing, it's a very big heavy spoon. 
and uh, it can be used for freshwater fishing like tiger fish as well. It's a very good tiger fishing uh, spoon for the guys up in the Zambezi. Very heavy, 40 grams, you can throw it a mile and a half. The Garrick do eat it as well. We go down all the way to the 10 gram one, which is a small little one like this. Again, it's more for when there's a few shad around and they're quite small, that's the kind of shad spoon that you want to throw. One of our best selling spoons that we have is our Falcon spoon. It comes in a variety of sizes, I'm not going to go through all of them. Again, the copper definitely works better early morning or the gold. Uh, the silver works once the sun comes up and there's a lot more sun, um, light penetration, the silver works. And guys, if you go into any tackle store and they don't have this, then I don't know because that is the most popular um, spoon that we actually sell here at the Kingfisher. Okay, a lot of people ask why white metal? White metal is one of those metals that one can actually polish. So if I took, for instance, this one over here, you can see it's very, very dull. If you touch it, the acid in your hands basically makes the metal go dull. So to shine it up and get more luster out of it, the easiest way to do that is take a back of a knife, you can use a bottle, you can use a stone, you can use sand, you can use pretty much anything to um, shine it up. So I'll just use a knife here just to show you. And just lightly, you don't have to do it very hard. And already you can see how it's starting to shine up. And if you compare that to that there, you can see how dull that is and how much more shine this part has. Another way of making it even shine more is now to take a little bottle, for instance, a bottle like this. There is our S-Pen spoon and all I'm going to do, sorry, let me just use this one that I've started uh, cleaning up. I'm going to take it like that, take the back of the bottle and you actually just rub it. Just be careful of the treble hooks flying around as well. There we go. And look at the difference there guys. Look at how they're starting to shine. If you spend a bit of time on them, you can actually polish these up that they look like glass. And the more shine, the better it works for shade in the water. The more that silver or that gold sparkle comes out of it, the better it actually is. For the gold sparkle, all you do is just take a bit of your normal um, brasso and just lightly rub it with brasso and a cloth and it will start shining like that. Thank you.